what is up my planning boos planning boo bring it back with another video okay so this is going to be my fitness layout for this past week and it's the undated it came out of this fitness planner the ready set goals and i am really really liking this planner so like i said um it's for this past week, the 17th through the 23rd. So I was nice. I already laid my washi. I laid the uh, the workout outfits, two strips of that. And also I laid the eat good, feel good washi. And of course, we're going to be using the new fitness sticker book, which I am loving. Some little bit of encouragement colorful boxes of course and the dates and holidays and of course wrong wrong because I need a couple of dogs so I'm just going to start off with dating the planner for this week and I was going to use the colorful numbers but then I decided just to use the black numbers And I really like this fitness layout job because it's plain with a pop of color. I'm not going to say neutral because so many people call stuff neutral these days. And it done got to the point where I don't know what neutral is anymore. But I am, um, I like it because it's very plain. Um, I have a lot of room to do whatever I want to do in this planner. And I can... And it's easy to spice up with stickers and washi. So I am liking the little rainbow collage borders. However you would call it. I'm not sure. But y'all get the point. I like the planner. So I'm just going to finish putting down these numbers. Which I like because they fit perfectly. 21st. 22nd and 23rd oh and a pre-warning y'all it's gonna be a lot of stickers it's gonna be a lot of stickers but i had a lot of fun with it so now i'm done with the dates and holidays book and i'm just gonna start working on the sidebar so i'm just gonna go into a colorful box i think i only pulled like one sticker which i just really wanted a long box sticker so I am just going to take this gold foiled one. Love gold foil. Can never go wrong. And I'm going to semi-struggle to put it on the side. So, I'm just trying to line it up without having to lift it. And do we got it? we got it whoa good so got that so I'm gonna use my sidebar just to really keep notes of things I want to track for the week um yeah that's all my sidebar is so yes finally going into this fitness book just trying to flip through get an idea of what I wanted to do and I'm going to start off with this breakfast, lunch, dinner. So it's going to take me a second to lay these stickers down. So let me tell you what I'm really doing uh, for my fitness planner for this week. This week, I actually was not too, I wasn't really hard on myself. It was more of let me see where I'm at kind of week because my issue is my main issue is i mindlessly eat i think mindlessly is a word i think so anyway i mindlessly eat which you know i see it i want it i eat it you know that's just what it is um so i'm just want to actually get down on paper what i'm eating and my uh, my other goal for this planner is to be honest with this planner. 
because that's one thing I do like about the happy planner or your planner in general even if you don't use a happy planner you can be honest with your planner because I look at my planner as also a journal you know what I did what I what I ate a quote that I may have heard that day um you know so now I'm switching over into the phase of a fitness planner and really keeping a fitness planner and a fitness planner that I actually want to keep that I will look into and saying okay if I ate three slices of pizza in one sitting then I need to write that down that's me being being honest so it and that will help me focus on whatever my priority is the next week whether it's less snacking drinking more water or anything like that and also for instance you know if I didn't do a workout okay why didn't I do that workout is it because I really got busy or is it because I was being lazy and nine times out of ten it's because I was being lazy but I feel like if I put that on paper instead of just shunning it off in my mind then I can I really start to see some kind of improvements so that's basically what I'm using my planner for this week not being hard on myself just saying okay yeah I didn't drink enough water or I didn't have as many fruits and vegetables as I should have you know so that's where it is being with your planner. I know some people be hard on themselves, but I don't want to be hard on myself anymore because I feel like I'm my own rest critic and I'm the type where, oh, I didn't work out today, so the whole week is ruined. No, no, the workout ain't ruined because it's like as soon as I think about it, okay, get, get up, do 10 sit-ups. That's, that's the workout. You know, it's 10 more sit-ups than I was going to do. So, you know, I'm looking at it that way. So, yeah, that's my little rant. So, y'all can get a kind of an idea what I'm using my planner for. But, yes, I do like these long strips. I was just afraid of tearing them. But I found out for me, these breakfast, lunch, dinner strips work better if I pull them from the bottom. Especially the paper ones. Because did try to rip on me a little bit but it's okay made it through so, yep I got that bonnet and glasses again and my chest in the video I'm gonna get better I'm gonna get better I was just trying to get it close to the line so finally that's that for now and that right there already looks good you know People with that cute handwriting can really just go in and fill that out and that'll, they'll be good to go for the week. So here I'm just deciding. I do want to do, I know one of my issues is trying to meal prep for the week. But I started off doing batch cooking, which I really need to grasp an understanding on what is batch cooking. Um, I want to say where it's like you make a whole bunch of soup or whatever the case but maybe not and use that for the week or make a salad or whatever but I just decided to switch that to meal prep which you know let me go on and take some chicken out and season it and you know try to make two three meals off of that so that's what I was using meal prep for so I got this this page of habit trackers and I do want to use one of the habit trackers for this week. And it's me just, I'm using that to focus on taking my vitamins, which I'm bad about to. I don't take vitamins. I should, but I don't. And I that might could help me deal with some of the sluggishness I be feeling at times. So I definitely want to track if I took my vitamins or not this week or at all so no spread is really complete without a cute quote sticker so and that's what I'm mainly using my top section for is the quotes 
or the today portion. Um, I really feel like you really need those quotes to keep looking in and really reminding yourself that this is a journey. It's not going to happen overnight. You didn't get fat overnight. You're not going to lose weight overnight. You're not going to tone up overnight. Or you're not going to be healthy overnight. And, yeah, I know I might sound contra contradictory or whatever the word is. Because I do mukbangs and stuff. And, which is cool. Which is cool. Oh, I really love this quote sticker. This is so cute. But, um, yeah, I do do mukbangs and stuff because, like I said in previous videos, I enjoy food. I just want to have a healthier relationship with food. I know me, I'm not the type of person who can cut out all the fried foods and cut out all the carbs and, you know, with some people cut out dairy, cut out all the meat. I can't do that. But... Can I do stuff in moderation? Absolutely. Can I do stuff every, can I have uh, uh, that ice cream every now and again? Absolutely. Because I feel like that's a, a more healthy relationship with food. Instead of just, oh, I can't eat that, oh, I can't have it and drive yourself crazy. Because been there, done that. Anyway, we're into um, the wrong, wrong sticker book. Because there was these cute girls, cute workout girls, and I said, I definitely have to use them. So, and hopefully I get back in frame on here. I'm just going to take this girl right here who is doing a little bit of stretching out. That could be either before or after her workout, which I don't do neither. But... I can look at that and be like, okay, yeah, girl, you need to stretch this back out or, sh or stretch these legs out. So I'm just going to realign her, put her right there. I think that looks nice. And let's see. And so we're going to put positive vibes all around this girl that's what we're gonna do positive vibes positive vibes because you definitely need the positivity when you're embarking on a new journey so that's what i'm just sprinkling all around this girl she's taking in the good positive vibes in the world inhaling them as she's stretching blowing out the negative vibes doing her little bit of mental yoga at least that's what I think I don't know so see we working making life decisions of course so I got this other little quote and then I realized my sidebar is still looking a little naked so I'm going to put this, she believed she could, so she did quote, right above my stats bar. That's, I guess it will be called a status bar, or what I'm trying to use it for, or my habit tracking bar, however I want to call it. So, just a little positive quotes there. And look at this girl, look her. Boy, she's standing on that leg, ain't she? Somebody got to, because baby, I would have been done tipped over. But yes, like the little girl here, she's doing her yoga. Same thing. Breathing in those positive vibes. I'm just realizing that was cute how I put her on the edge of that box like that. Anyway, going into the encouragement book. Wanting to find some other encouraging quotes that will work with this spread. Which is basically what I'm using my middle for. My middle section for. Because just like the song say, you gotta encourage yourself to do stuff. 
speak over yourself, encourage yourself. And that, and that's what I'm working on. It and I'm this fitness journey is hard. Hard, hard, hard. But you can make it work as long as you have a willing mind to take constructive criticism and I'm not talking about from other people but taking constructive criticism from yourself okay I didn't do this why could I have done it yes well what are we gonna do next time we gonna grit our teeth and do it that's what we gonna do so that's all you that's all I'm looking for out of this fitness planner for this planner to give me the freedom to track what I need to do what I need to to motivate myself what I need to do so look I was watching Martin while I was doing this plan with me and I flipped through this sticker book and saw you go girl and I was like yeah I definitely gotta put that down so me going back into the wrong wrong book there's a couple more chicks I want to use so, I was going to do the girl with her pooch and then decided against it. I'm just going to use this other girl because I thought she would fit perfectly into the box. But then I decided, let's just go for the smallest one. And I put her right next to the quote because it's looking like she telling me, you go girl. And, of course, we're going to use more positive vibes to put around her because that's what we're about in our fitness planner. We ain't, we ain't doing no negative stuff. We just all positivity, all positive, all positivity. So I'm just going to use those to fill up this space a little bit so it's not too much white space. so this came from the fitness sticker rolls and they had some great colors that goes with this fitness sticker book so I'm just going to use this to track my starting weight for the week that's, that's what this is being used for to really track my starting weight for the week and y'all might see it and I'm going to be honest <laughs> which is going to be hard for me but I also feel like that's what's going to make me really do what I need to do if I'm putting it out there some of my struggles and not just all the good stuff but some of my struggles so like I say this fitness book has great great stickers so I want to definitely try to start off small with cardio you know I got this nice apartment complex I stay in I need to start walking around the apartment complex and plus these shoes are so cute so I'm just gonna put down some cardio for Monday Wednesday and Friday just gonna put my tennis shoes on and go walk And then for do, 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 do. I really like this quote and I need to fill up that empty space so this was so cute and it's a, it was such a true quote. Success is a series of small wins. So my small win is if I drank enough water today, that's a win. If I went and did one workout this week, that's a win. So Sundays are going to be my day off for any kind of working out or doing anything. Any walking or anything because I'm using that as my... Sunday is my prep day, you know for playing with me he's planning out my week hopefully meal prepping you know doing whatever little stuff I, I can do to make the week better 
or smoother. So in those empty spaces, I think I'm just going to add a workout box um, or a workout word. And that's just going to be for days, okay, I did 15 sit-ups or I dance, dance to the music today. Or, you know, if I did some jumping jacks. So that's what I want to put that for in those other empty spaces. Clear workout stickers. So did y'all get to see a preview of the new Wrong Wrong Fitness? You know what? I ain't even gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it. But I like it. <laughs> so yeah. Y'all, I'm really liking how this spread is coming together with the colors and the pops of gold. It is so cute. Time to sweat. I had to definitely put something into that Monday box and that Wednesday box. I'm going to put that progress, not perfection. So now I'm in the old fitness book. The mini, the, the OG, the original gangster, the old school, whichever you want to call it. Um... And I'm just going to pull out this wellness report. And I will eventually end up moving it. But the wellness report was more so for, okay, did I do good with my water this week? Did I do good with my vitamins this week? Did I do good with my sleep this week? You know, that's what the wellness is for. Did I do good with my exercise this week? So what I'm doing here besides checking the camera make sure it was still on I am going to put these little water trackers down just to track how much water that I've been drinking this week now I can tell you now I don't drink enough which is very very bad I drink water I just don't drink as much as I should so I know that definitely has to be a top priority for me next week. But like I said, I was using this spread for this week as a, let me see where I'm really at. So I'm going to move that workout sticker around. Uh, I mean that wellness report sticker. I'm going to add some more of the water trackers. Enough for the entire week. And then, of course, making life decisions of where I'm going to put this wellness report at. And I just decided, forget it. I am just going to put it up here at the top in that little open spot. Okay. Because even though it's on Monday, I know I ain't checking it just on Monday. that and then I do eat snacks besides breakfast lunch and dinner so I'm going to take these little snack uh, icons or flags and put those down as well so like I said you know main focus for this week is just seeing what I am eating and how I'm eating so, then next week, I know how to set up my layout on what really needs to be focused on. So, yes, y'all, this is it. Isn't this cute? We made it. I am so excited about this spread. I'm so ready to use it. I'm going to pop it right back into my planner. So cute and it looks great on the disc as well so also I am going to use one of these half sheets for my weekly goal one two three um, 
to actually put in the middle of my planner as well and some extra space and the back progress picture here yes y'all i'm gonna do it I, i'm going to put out a picture of me and how i look this so that'll also be motivation for me to do stuff so i hope y'all like this thank y'all appreciate y'all bye